Hey guys, Snackpack is back, and it is my professional, scientifically backed opinion that the Chicago Bears are cursed. Ever since their win at Super Bowl XX, has there been a team more mediocre than the Chicago Bears? A team that just kind of exists. With teams like the Detroit Lions and Cleveland Browns, you kind of feel bad for them. You want them to be good. The Bears? Eh, you don't really care one way or another. Being mediocre is honestly worse than being terrible. So how did the Bears get this way? Well, it's very clear that they were cursed after making the Super Bowl Shuffle. For the uninitiated, the Super Bowl Shuffle came out late in the 1985 season, with the Bears prematurely celebrating their inevitable Super Bowl win. Surprisingly, this wouldn't bite them in the ass yet. The song is really corny, a lot of the lyrics are kind of basic, but you know what, I think I can drive some good fun out of this. And we'll see how this song cursed the Chicago Bears. Let's get right into it. Oh god, that transition is so bad. You know we're just strutting for fun, strutting our stuff for everyone. We're not here to start no trouble. We're just here to do the Super Bowl show. If your goal is to not start any trouble, I don't know if making the song is gonna help you with that. Well, they call me sweetness, and I like to dance. Running the ball is like making more mans. Why? Because you get worse it is you get older. We had the goal since training camp to give Chicago a Super Bowl champ. I mean, isn't that kind of every team's goal in training camp? Even like bad teams that are flagrantly tanking might at least try in week one. This is Speedy Willie, and I'm world class. I like running, but I love to get the pass. Well, then it's a good thing you're a wide receiver and not like I don't know a running back. I practice all day and dance all night. I gotta get ready for the Sunday fight. How does dancing get you ready for a football game? I'm Samurai Mike. I stop from cold. Part of the defense, big and bold. Aren't samurais supposed to kind of like blend in, be sneaky? I mean, you're you're a pretty big dude. I don't think anyone's gonna miss you. I've been jamming for quite a while, doing what's right and setting the style. Give me a chance, I'll rock you good. Nobody messing in my neighborhood. Mike, you're from Sunnyside, Houston. That's like one of the more notorious neighborhoods. I'm the punky QB known as McMahon. When I hit the turf, I've got no plan. I just throw my body all over the field. Yeah, well, at least he's honest. I motivate the cats I like to tease. I play so cool, I aim to please. That's why you all got here on the double to catch me doing the Super Bowl shuffle. Jim, nobody came to see you. Also, yeah, wow, nice. You're wearing sunglasses indoors. What kind of asshole does that? A mama's boy, Otis, wanna be kind. The ladies all love for my body and my mind. I'm flicked on the floor as I can be. But ain't no sucker gonna get past me. Some guys are jealous of my style and class. That's why some end up on that. I don't know if you can call yourself classy and then immediately swear. That just kind of takes the oomph out of it. Fuck yeah, sex solo. They say Jimbo is our man. If Jimmy can't do it, I sure can. Right, and that's why you're the backup and not the starter. This is Steve, and it's no wonder. I run like lightning, pass like thunder. I love how he needs to look to the guy behind him for affirmation. So bring on Atlanta, bring on Dallas. This is for Mike and Papa Bear Hallis. But I'm not here, the feathers ruffle. I just came here to do the Super Bowl shuffle. No, 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 you don't get to change the order of words to make it rhyme better. That is lazy songwriting. I can break them, shake them any time of day. I like to steal it and make them pay. So please don't try to beat my hustle, because I'm just here to do the Super Bowl shuffle. Yeah, try telling the other team not to beat your hustle. That'll go well. It's not like that's their job or anything. The sack man's coming. I mean, man, that is a quarterback, so he's gonna get bent. We stop the run, we stop the pad. I like to dump guys on the. Okay, no, no, you can't do the same, like, swear whistle joke twice for the same swear word. You can't just steal that from Otis. And before you say, oh, that doesn't necessarily mean Otis came up with it first, okay, but his was better. To play for the world best fan, you better start making your Super Bowl plan. But don't get ready or go through any trouble unless you practice the Super Bowl shuffle. 
You, you mind enunciating a little bit? It's Gary here, and I'm Mr. Clean. They call me Hitman. Don't know what they mean. You don't look like Mr. Clean. Where's your shiny bald head? Now, in general, if you're going to have a song where you have multiple people singing, you should always try and save your best for last one way or another. So hopefully the bears took that advice and made their last verse something really... You see me hit, you see me run, when I kick your pass, we'll have more fun. I can dance, you will see the others, they all learn from me. Or you could just close with the most basic verse that works too, I guess. So what do I think of the Super Bowl Shuffle? Well, I think it's corny and it's dumb, but I can't help but like it. By and large, these guys seem pretty likable, so... Hey, well, I'm not gonna hold it against them. It looks like they're having a good time. So, you know what? Good for them. And you know what? I don't mind a little smack talk, as long as you can back it up. And hey, they did that. So is the Super Bowl Shuffle responsible for the Bears' curse? Uh, it'd be funnier to say yes, but obviously no. It's more so the fault of the McCaskies. George Hallis had died only a couple of years prior to this song, so that's kind of where the downhill slope began. It's fun to look at this as a little footnote in history, especially because it inspired a few other songs that maybe I'll cover at some other point. For all intents and purposes, they are raps, and this series doesn't have to be bad songs only. This song's not bad, it's fine. It's inoffensive, it's stupid, and I like it. Alright, so if you want to join the snack, Pack, not to be a snack pack. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Tell me if you're glad the series came back. It's barely even a series. It's only episode, what, three? But yeah, I want to keep going with this. I got some other songs in mind that I want to talk about. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.